Revelation 20 and verse 4. And I saw thrones and they sat upon them and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai and for the word of the Most High. And which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. And they lived and reigned with Hamashiach a thousand years. Tal halal Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Rachachachudash. Doblon is the apostles and elders of great millstone where I learned this truth from. Peace and salutations, so brothers on down. Teaching, preaching, preaching this word, spreading this gospel. The four corners of the earth, waking up the hopeful elect of the house of Israel. Greetings also to the few sisters, elect ladies that tune into these video epistles. Hope you're edified, built up by the power, the truth that is coming out of this book is our book. The holy book for the holy people. We're calling the lesson, Death Before Dishonor. Don't take the microchip. It's coming in all its guise. It's our power. His name is Yahweh. His only begotten son is Yahweh Shai. And we are the true children of Israel. It doesn't matter what they think. It doesn't matter what they call us. Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. It's all played out. You're black. You're Hispanic, Latino. They're every different name apart from the truth. And perilous times are approaching. I'm hyped up this morning. I can get the words out. I can't clear my throat. People are just dropping like flies all over the place. There's uproars of the people, the turmoil, distractions, as we say here, it turn up. And strange weather, wars and rumours, signs of times, they're everywhere. <clears throat> and it's right here and right now. We say much prayers and we ought to do even more and more fasting. And as, remember there's a, is it Habakkuk? It said, Lord, in thy wrath, please remember mercy. Please, please. Let's just get a couple of these scriptures here. Weave a web here of truth. Where are we going to start? Let's get a... The point we're making is that some of us are going to have to pay the ultimate price. Be that as it may be. That's what's written in the book. We're going to start with John 8. 51, verily, verily, truly, truly, it's red letter, Yahweh Shai is speaking, I say unto you, if a man keep my saying, he shall never see death. See, you might have to go through it to get to it, but that's not the end of the story. And so we encourage ourselves, encourage each other to keep pushing right through Matthew 24 13 but he that shall endure endure means to make hard and how you be made hard through all of these trials and tribulations of which the worst is yet to come <clears throat> he that shall endure unto the end the same shall be saved and this gospel see that's what's toughening you up the gospel this domicile of the kings this gospel shall be preached in all the world. That world is the oikomeni in the Greek, in the whole inhabited earth. They have all got to hear the truth because lies have been running things for so long as that scripture in, uh, what's that? Second Ezra 6, about 27, 28. Let's read this again here. Matthew 24, 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. Not the foolishness that they've got up in these churches. No, that's, that's another doctrine. That's madness. They're preaching another savior who can't save. It's lies. And we've woken up from that madness. We're next. We're getting ready for the negative headlines. And this man, he saw Edom calling himself the white man. He's also, he's the false accuser. He's a liar. The devil that the Bible speaks of. That's why we call him that. We're getting ready to see our names up in lights with all the madness that he's got. I mean, putting together his case, the case files of madness against this truth and those who have this truth in their mouth he's getting ready 
So we're getting ready for all of the negativity. Isaiah 59. Let's get a couple of verses here, the whole of this chapter, really. But behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save, neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear. But your iniquities, multiple sins, have separated between you and your power. And your sins have hid his face, his ways, his laws, statutes, and commandments from you that he will not hear. So that's what God separated us. <clears throat> that's what separated us from our power. But we're coming back. We're coming back and this truth is waking us up, have awoken us. Romans 8, love reading the, this chapter here. Let's get these last few verses. Romans 8, let's go from 35. Who shall separate us? Who shall separate me from the love of Hamashiach? Hamashiach means the anointed one. Shall tribulation or distress, persecution, famine, nakedness, peril or sword? As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. That's that old man in the flesh battling against the spirit. It's all day, every day. As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded. That's to say, completely convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, as these hierarchy of demons, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us, me, from the love of Yahweh, which is in Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, our Lord. Oh yes, that's those extra prayers we ought to be sending out and more fasting as much as you can do to strengthen that inner man and keep that connection with our power. Someone said, keep your oil strong. First Corinthians 15, get a few verses here in the middle here, uh, 19. If in this life only we have hope in Hamashiach, we are of all men most miserable. There's nothing looking forward to in this life. <clears throat> nothing at all. We just counting down the days when all these prophecies just get fulfilled and this wicked man, Esau, Edom, Malachi 1 and 4 tells you he's the wicked, the border of wickedness. It's him. We know who you are. Do what you have to do. Let's get this thing over and done with. If in this life only we have hope in Hamashiach, we are of all men most miserable. But now is Hamashiach risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept, that, that died. For since by man came death, this Adam, by man came also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Yahawashai Hamashiach shall all be made alive. That's that full circle right there. And some of us, we, we're going to die for this truth. And we're still, we're still holding out, even in the face of death. And we're getting ready to say no to the RFID uh, CBDC, microchip, all these different NFC, what's that, uh, near field communication or BCI, brain chip implant, all of it. We're saying no. We're not taking it. We're not doing it. Isaiah 14, 1 and 2, for the Lord is what they hate. See, when the scriptures come out, they hate this truth, line upon line, precept upon precept, here a little, there a little. This is, thus saith the Lord, Isaiah 14. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel. That's who we are. You can make up whatever names you want. Niggers, blacks and all this. We are of the tribe, the nation. We are Hebrew Israelites. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob, who had 12 sons, and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the strangers who are Hebrews shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house 
of Jacob. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for saints and handmaids. And they shall take them captives whose captives they were. And they shall rule over their oppressors. I'm going to have slaves, the other 17 nations. Some of them, oh, are they going to be in the kingdom? Yes, they are. They're going to be our slaves. That's what the book says. Captives, whose captives they were. We've been held captive now. We was taken here captive against our will. It's your turn. That's a choice of our power. That's his choice. That's that election, Romans 11 and, and 7. What then? I wasn't going to read it this lesson. I could have read it every lesson. Romans 11 and 7. What then? Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for. Not the whole of, it, of Israel, no. But the election hath obtained it. Obtained what? Obtained the truth for salvation. And the rest, the other two-thirds in all the land, which refers to America, Babylon the Great, they were blinded. According as it, according as it is written, God had given them the spirit of slumber. Eyes that they should not see, ears that they should not hear unto this day. And it goes on to speak about this trap, a snare and a trap, repeating what it says in, in David in the Psalm 69 and about 22. I'm going to go to that. But let's keep moving here. Let's wrap up this lesson. Last few scriptures here. Let's get Psalms. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> Psalms. 16, 1 to 3, preserve me, O power, for in thee do I put my trust. O my soul, thou hast said unto the Lord, thou art my Lord. My goodness extended not to thee, but to the saints. Who are these saints? Wasn't going to get that one. Let's get it. Psalms 50 and 5, gather my saints together unto me, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. That's Psalms 50 and 5. And it's again here at the end of the chapter. Might as well just get it. Psalms 148. Verse 14, he also exalted the horn, the strength of his people, the praise of all his saints, even of the children of Israel, a people near unto him. Praise ye the Lord. And there's many more we could get. Uh, I think Psalm 78 and 5 speaks to those who are in a covenant. Who's in a covenant with our power? It's the children of Israel. It's got nothing to do with anybody else. They're profane. They're on the outside but to the saints that are in the earth and to the excellent in whom is all my delight. Let's jump to verse 10. For thou, this is Psalms 16. For thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, neither wilt thou suffer thine holy one to see corruption. This is in a bad way, not the madness they speak about in this church, this uh, everlasting place. That's, that's uh, Greek mythology. Thou wilt show me the path of life in thy presence <clears throat> is fullness of joy at thy right hand there are pleasures for evermore we're looking forward to that <clears throat> he that endured to the end luke 12 and 32 fear not little flock red letter how is i speaking again for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom daniel speaks about we're gonna Take it. We're going to take it by force <clears throat> under our power. Yeah, Hawashai and the angelic army getting ready to come back with Revelation to wrap up here. Start at it's chapter 21, Revelation 21. Let's start at 4. And the Most High, whose name is Yahweh, shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. And there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither Shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away? And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Right, for these things are true and faithful. He said unto me, It is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning 
and the end I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely he that overcometh he that endure shall inherit all things and I will be his power and he shall be my son let's hold it there for this lesson perilous times are coming indeed and we're sending up those prayers you've been listening to death before dishonor don't take the microchip shalom till the next lesson we don't fear this man and his chip we fear our power yahweh for hashem yahweh shai